Earlier we created a custom formula in conditional formatting to cross off the entire row wherever column E had no in it. Let's make some more advanced custom formula in conditional formatting. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one and let's make a conditional formatting rule that looks for anyone who said yes and said they're going to bring more than let's say seven people and let's highlight those in yellow so they really pop out for us. So we want to format columns A through F so we'll start by highlighting those and then click add a new rule and we're going to do another custom formula down at the very bottom here. We'll start our formula with equals and what we're going to do is we need to look at two different columns so we're going to start with the and and use parentheses and we'll put our rules in the middle separated by a comma we're going to start out with column e just like we did before we use the dollar signs because we only want to look at column e right now and we want to look for the response yes and you can see as we do that the yes rows are green highlighted but let's add another condition let's look at row column f and let's look for anything greater than seven. So we'll start with a comma to separate the rules. We'll look now at column F. And we'll say anything that's greater than seven. And now you can see only the rows that have a will you attend in column E of yes and a number greater than seven in column F are highlighted. Let's go ahead and change our formatting style away from this green into the bright yellow background. And you can see as we scroll down through here, only those values that have yeses and larger numbers in column F are highlighted. This little AND tool in custom formulas allows you to add even more rules. If you want to add another rule in here, you can. And it's a really great way to look at your data and find lots of requirements to pare it down. Let's go ahead and add another rule. Let's look at only the responses that are yeses greater than seven from the English department. So we'll use another comma and we'll look at column C now for department. And we'll say those that equal English, say done. And as we go down through here, you'll see that there's just those two rows highlighted. Now, just like what we did before, you can actually take this custom formula, copy it, and go into a filter so that you can actually filter it out so you only see those two rows. Let's go ahead and do that. If you don't see the little funnel icon, the filter icon on your toolbar, you might need to click more and then click on the filter icon to turn it on. And you can click on the little upside down pyramid in any of the columns because we're adding a formula. It doesn't matter which one we add it to. We'll click on the icon in the A column. And rather than filtering by value, this time we're going to filter by condition and we'll click on where it says none. Scroll down to the bottom again for custom formula is and we will paste in the formula we created for conditional formatting. Click OK and now we have custom formula that is conditionally formatting and filtering our rows. Really cool stuff you could do.